Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to our kitchen for another amazing recipe straight from the Caribbean. We've got a lovely recipe for you guys, part of our special series, partnering up with Caribbean Export, who are all about championing the Caribbean products around the world. And I mean the best Caribbean products. Absolutely. Today we're going to be making some amazing lamb steaks, guys, mm -hmm. and they're going to be glazed with firehouse is pepper jelly sauce. Wee. Oof, nice. I can't wait to get my hands on this, man. I'm telling you guys, we've tasted it before, I'm telling you, it's a lovely combination of sweetness and fieriness that is gonna be basing on that mm. lovely lamb steak. Yeah, that's oh. right, bro. So let's get into the ingredients. So firstly, guys, you're gonna need two lamb steaks, nice and fresh, nice and clean. Next, we're gonna use some black pepper, coarse black pepper. Some sea salt straight from the Caribbean Sea, some garlic, some ginger, some fresh parsley for garnish, some water, that's it, water, W A T A, <laughs> and finally some firehouse pepper jelly. That's what makes it all come together yes. and makes it all nice. That's right, guys. So the key as well, again, fresh ingredients, very key mm -hmm. in seasoning your meat, make you yeah. rub it up nice and yeah, man. Yeah. rub it up with the fresh. Rub it up, rub up that thing. Yeah, so, that's yeah, what we're doing that thing. yeah. So what's good about this, this recipe as well, guys, it's so simple. Mm. You only need a few ingredients, as you can see. You can make at home for your family, for your friends, yeah. and that's it. So the first thing first, we're gonna add a bit of sea salt. Mm -hmm. Make sure your steak is nicely patted dry, guys. Yes. So what does that do, bro? It helps the seasons to stick together. Yes, it helps seasons to stick together, and also when you're actually cooking down the steaks. It's not filled with water and a lot of water comes mm -hmm. out into the pan and lower. Yeah, yeah, so trust me. It's as dry as possible. Right, some black pepper as well. Just feel free to just put as much as black pepper as you want, really. So I'm going to go in with some garlic. Mm -hmm. Go in with as much fresh ingredients as we can, guys, in this. Some ginger as well. Mm -hmm. Love the smell of ginger. Get that in there, and that's about it. And then I'm, yeah. now I'm going to just just rub it just together. It in, yep. Get all the seasons in. Just do the other side. Yep, the other side. So the thing about with steaks, especially lamb steaks, guys, you don't want to over season. Mm -hmm. You don't need to over season it. That's yep. the key. Of course, we're also basing it with a lovely pepper jelly as well. So you can marinate it for a couple of hours, guys, in the fridge, or you can go straight away. Totally up to you. Yes. But yeah, in the fridge it goes. A little later. We're going to make the glaze, so mm -hmm. using Firehouse's pepper jelly. Simple glaze to make, nice and easy. Get your pan onto a medium to high heat, mm -hmm. add in that pepper jelly. And put it in. So this product's sweetness mm. and spice, everything nice. Just, <laughs> Ooh, it looks like jelly. Nice, you can see the spice in it yeah. as well, guys. You can see scotch bonnet pieces. scotch bonnet pieces, the pepper pieces in there. And add a cup of water. Gradually, As you can see the colours just making it nice and clear. You just need to add a little bit of water at a time, guys. Yeah. yeah. So the jelly can actually cook down and still remain thick yeah. in consistency, but quite yeah. loose. So that's Definitely. what we're trying to do, just loosen it up. Yeah. Look at so that. All, you, all you need to do is just bring it to a simmer. Yeah. Bring it to a boil and put it to a simmer for about a minute or two. Yeah. Let that simmer down. Let that off. cool down, and we're good to go, guys. Yes, yes guys. I've got the marinated lamb steaks out of the fridge. Mm -hmm. Mmm, smells so good. Mm -hmm. Now it's time to cook up the tin. That's right, guys. So what we're going to do is add a tiny bit of oil into that. Get that to medium to high heat. Yes, yes guys. So now I'm going to add in the lamb steaks. Mm -hmm. Now put it down to low medium. Mm -hmm. Get that sizzling, smelling so good right now, guys. You can see how good it looks, look. Because the lamb, Close guys, up. is so naturally nice. That's why we don't heavily marinate it yep. at the start, because obviously we're basing it as well with the pepper jelly, but also the lamb itself is so delicious. Yep. So just adding natural ingredients to it, sea salt, pepper, yep. garlic, ginger. Mm -hmm. Trust me, guys, it's gonna maximize the lamb's natural flavor. Right, so we're gonna do to add a bit of spice, some balanced spice and a nice aroma, guys. Add a scotch bonnet in and just let it cook evenly. Yeah. So what this is doing, guys, is the aroma of the spice of the scotch bonnet is actually going into the oil. Mm. So then that will then touch 
the lamb pieces as well, mm. and the aroma of the mm. spice will be perfect. Yeah. It's not going to be straight slices. That's it. The aroma. That's it. Lovely. Done. So what we're going to do now, guys, is turn it around and see. Yeah. It's, it's got a lovely brown to it. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Lovely. Nice, man. Looks good, man. Looks juicy. What I'm going to do here, guys, as well, this is like a continual process we like to do. You get like a thyme sprig, or you can get a rosemary. And it's literally just brush it on. Yeah. On top. Looks good, wow. So That's again, a... the aroma mm. of the thyme is just going perfectly onto the steak. Yeah. Guys. As well as like kind of like basing it as well. Yes, that's right. So that's helping that cooking process. Yeah. Top tip there, you know. Top tip. You, don't, you won't see this anywhere else, guys, yeah? <laughs> Caribbean top tip. I'm telling you. If you haven't got a spatula, use some time. <laughs> that's how you know your food's made with love. Yeah, yeah man. See things like that. That's Trust right. me. Right, guys, so now it's got a lovely brown hard look on the on the on the lamb steaks you guys so how you do this is you literally just press it down on the pan so it gets these lovely dark brown marks isn't it bro it's yeah lovely. looks good man looks lovely man mm. if you're looking for well done this is what you want <laughs> this is what you want you want to carefully just pour in the sauce that amazing glaze so now the sauce is in guys let it bubble up and then we're going to start basing it so it's already cooked mm -hmm. Just gonna slowly just start basing it, and getting that sweet and spicy sauce. Woo! Wow, that looks nice. good. Beautiful, guys. This will yeah. also help to soften it as well, so it's lovely and tender yeah. as well, and the texture of the lamb steaks. All right, guys. So now it's time for the steaks. Ooh, that looks Ready, juicy. Juicy. Look at that. Oh, the Scotch bonnets on there as well, that Ooh. piece of thyme sprig on there. Yes, and we're serving it with some potato mash and some broccoli Ooh. tender stem. Look at that. Ooh, Ooh. Lord, Ooh. Get that, that glaze. Look at the glaze. The guys. firehouse. So we're going to take pepper jelly. the basing glaze, the firehouse pepper jelly, and just pour it Ooh. on there. That. Get that on some that. Oh, Get some on that potatoes as well, bro. Yeah, man, you got it. You got Ooh. It. You got it. Mm. I mean, if you will definitely enjoy this one, guys. Mm. Right now, it's time to dive in. Mm, Ooh. Mm, mm. Look at that. Just how I like it. Tender. Nice and brown on the outside, and lovely and tender mm. on the inside. Get some of that mash. Mm -hmm. Wow. Oh my god. Yeah? Oh my god. What are you tasting right now, bro? What are you tasting? Bro. Yeah? Wow. <laughs> it looks nice. like you've just gone to heaven. Boy, I think I have. Yeah. Because I'm telling you guys. Oh. Oh my word, oh, guys. Wow. Th there you wow. have it. Wow. I mean, wow. Honestly, guys. Again, the lamb steak's nice on its own. With the seasoning that we've done as well, mm. makes it perfect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But with the pepper jelly Ooh. sauce on top, guys. guys, the sweetness of it, and then the spice, and then just the texture of the lamb, Listen. the juiciness of the steak. Oh. Listen, look, guys, wow. the, the way oh, Craig's yeah. describing it, you know the thing is mad. Guys, you got to make this at home. Mm. Date night, special night, any night, everything nice, yeah? Mm, With this wow. recipe. Wow. Everything nice. Wow. So, got some lamb steaks, with pepper jelly glaze using firehouses. Amazing sauce. Guys, please make this at home because you're going to love it and you're going to love us for letting you know about this recipe. Look at it. It's tender. It's juicy. It's succulent. Listen. We know that right, Sean's talking. I ain't talking. Either. I'll do the talking, innit? He'll do the eating. I'll do the talking. Guys, serve with some mash, some greens, and the thing bad. Listen, absolutely Caribbean. This is absolutely delicious. Wow. Absolutely delightful. And you need to make it right now, guys, because this is Caribbean finest, using Caribbean finest sauce. Guys, 100% recommend getting this sauce. Check the description below. Yep. Get this sauce straight from the Caribbean to your home. Straight from your Big heart, up, guys. Man. Big up, one love. I don't know what to say. Wow. One love, guys. Peace wow. and love. Blessings. <laughs>